Hello my dear friends, my name is Dr. Nitin Saroch and I am the admin for website periobasics.com and author of this book Perio Basics. Now this video is regarding uh, the launch of the second edition of this book. But before I introduce you to the second edition of this book, first of all, let me thank you all for the positive energy and for the support that you have extended towards me in last so many years. Dear friends, in 2010, when I started working on this project, Perio Basics, I never knew that I'll be writing a book, I'll be publishing a book. But because of your positive energy and your support, I was able to publish this book in 2017. Now, since 2017, there have been so many changes in the field, which are very important, very significant, and they needed to be included in the second edition of the book. So I have tried to include all those changes in the second edition of the book. Dear friends, as periodontists, we all are the students of periodontics. I learn from you every day. I learn from your questions, I learn from your discussions, and I learn from your suggestions. So it is my request to you all that keep questioning me, keep suggesting me, and keep interacting so that I can make the coming up editions even better. Now coming on to the second edition of this book, this is the second edition of Perio Basics. And let me tell you the changes that I have done in this book. The most significant change in the last two years has been the introduction of the 2017 classification of periodontal and perimplant diseases and conditions. Now all the terminologies that we have been using using the 99 classification system have been changed. So that has been included in this book. Along with this, there are four new, uh, there are five new chapters in this book. First is uh, on the relationship of periodontitis with pulmonary diseases. Second chapter is on the relationship of periodontitis with preterm and low birth weight. Then I have written a new chapter on application of probiotic therapy in periodontics. Then uh, gingivectomy chapter has been included in the book because uh, in the first edition, gingivectomy was a part of the uh, historical aspect of the surgical periodontal therapy and the fifth chapter is evidence-based periodontology because many students were asking for this chapter along with this there have been additions in more than 80 chapters in the second edition so i think that this book is complete in every sense as far as the basic understanding of the subject is concerned and i hope that you will like this book and i'll hope that you will keep suggesting me keep pushing me and keep providing me your positive energy. Thank you very much.